In League of Legends, two items that boost the defensive potential of a champion are the Guardian Angel and the Warmog's Armor. On today's episode of Wall Math, we'll be taking a look at the differences between these two items and which one allows a champion to take more damage. First, let's take a look at the item stats. A Guardian Angel costs 2,600 gold, grants 68 armor, and 38 magic resistance. It will also revive a champion upon death with 750 health and 375 mana. This effect will not stack with multiple Guardian Angels and has a 5 minute cooldown. A Warmog's Armor costs 3000 gold, grants 920 health, and 30 health regeneration. It will also grant an additional 3.5 health and 0.1 health regeneration for each minion kill. This bonus is multiplied by 10 for champion kills and assists. However, the bonus is cap at 350 health and 10 health regeneration. In our test to see which item has the greatest damage reducing potential, we'll be looking at each item in two different states. The Guardian Angel with its revival ability active, the Guardian Angel with its revival ability on cooldown, a Warmog's Armor with no kill bonuses, and a Warmog's Armor with full kill bonuses. As a side note, when a champion has a Guardian Angel with its revival off cooldown, the champion essentially has 750 bonus health due to the amount of health the champion revives with. We should also take into account that if a champion has one health and is hit with an ability that deals 500 damage to them, if the Guardian Angel revives them, 499 of that damage was not taken into account, and the champion will revive with 750 health anyway. We'll also be testing the items on two different level 18 champions, just to get a good range of how the items affect champions with different values of armor and health. The champions will be Shen for his high armor and moderate health, and Sona for her low armor and low health. Finally, we need to take into account how much damage is being dealt to these champions, and whether it is physical or magic damage. For the sake of simplicity, we'll use three examples. One being 4 hits of 500 physical damage, the other being 4 hits of 500 magic damage, and the last being 4 hits of 250 physical damage and 250 magic damage applied at the same time. We'll also assume that each hit is 1 second apart. Therefore, each champion will regain health based on 1 fifth of their health regeneration after being hit. So without further ado, let's run the tests. At level 18, Shen has 1958 health, 17.35 health regeneration, 87 armor, and 30 magic resistance. When hit with physical damage, we see that even with Shen's high armor and bonus armor from the Guardian Angel, he is left with much more health if he has a Warmog's armor, even if it doesn't have full kill bonuses. Although, if we say Shen has 750 bonus health from the Guardian Angel's revival ability, a Guardian Angel leaves Shen with more health than an empty Warmog's armor. However, a full Warmog's armor is still far superior. The same can be said for the magic damage test, with the Guardian Angel being less effective due to it granting 30 less magic resistance and armor, and for the hybrid damage test as well. In all these scenarios, a Guardian Angel with its revival ability active leaves Shen with more health than an empty Warmog's armor, but still, a full Warmog's armor surpasses the rest. Moving on, let's take a look at how the items affect a champion with low armor, such as Sona. At level 18, Sona has 1,640 health, 14.4 health regeneration, 67.4 armor, and 30 magic resistance. When hit with physical damage, we see that due to Sona's low armor, the armor granted by the Guardian Angel is more effective. We can also note that if we take the Guardian Angel's 750 bonus health into account, the Guardian Angel is once again superior to an empty Warmog's armor and still inferior to a full Warmog's armor. The results are very similar in both the magic damage test and the hybrid damage test, so we won't need to look into those with too much detail. In conclusion, it would seem that even for its extra 400 gold cost, the Warmog's armor is superior to the Guardian Angel. We should also remember that the Guardian Angel's armor and magic resistance bonuses are essentially useless against true damage. Obviously, there can be situations where the Guardian Angel can prove more useful, but under most circumstances, a full Warmog's armor will allow a champion to take more damage than a Guardian Angel. Thanks for watching this episode of Law Math. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, or ideas for future episodes of Law Math, feel free to post in the comments section underneath this video. Also, check out the previous Law Math video by clicking the annotation on the screen. Thanks for watching.